In the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy. And today we wanna to take a moment to invite you to worship. Join Corey, Anna and I as we share words of encouragement to lift up your spirit and your heal the sounds of Ben and Kelly Smith. You know, we are so excited that you are joining us for a very special Worship Wednesday. So prepare an altar in your home, prepare a space where you can invite the Holy Spirit to move in those places. If you feel you are broken, if you feel abandoned, if you feel lonely, this is the moment where we're believing that you're going to see breakthrough, healing, and a move of God right in your home or wherever you're watching. Hope today starts right now. Psalm 91, one says, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Today, we are inviting you to come into the presence of the Lord where there is rest. So many of you are carrying heavy burdens. You're dealing with anxiety and fear and you are weary. And Jesus says to come, come to me and I will give you rest. So today we just really believe that the Lord has ordained this time and this space for his people to come and meet with him, to receive from him, to be strengthened and lifted back up so that we can be the healthy, strong body of Christ because there is work to do. And he wants us to be able to step out with boldness, with the strength of the Lord, with the joy of the Lord, and do the work that he has called us to do. So thank you for being with us. I'm Anna, I'm here with Sydney and with Corey. And Corey, I know the Lord has been speaking to your heart. 
Yeah, um, you know, it's been a fresh thing that's really been going on. Um, I just want to share this really quick. Last night, um, I needed to do some files and things. I'm an editor, and uh, my Wi-Fi was really messed up. It was really down. And so, uh, you know, having an, uh, the phone that I have, uh, there could be hotspots, and it can pull from that hotspot. And immediately the Lord spoke to me, and he said, some of you are hotspots to the kingdom. And there are people who are being disconnected. You know what it feels like when you have no Wi-Fi. I mean, in today's generation, people go like, oh, there's no Wi-Fi, what am I gonna do? But when you have no Wi-Fi connected to God and you feel like I can't hear God, I feel like he, he's not hearing me, which he can, but we feel that emotionally. When you get into a dead spot, whether you're driving and there's just a disconnection, you could be on a phone call and it cuts off. It is one of the most ostracizing, lonely places to feel like I can't reach God or I can't hear him. Those are dead spots in our lives that the enemy dwells in. It could be because of sin. It could be because of unforgiveness or bitterness. But there are many of you who represent hot spots of the kingdom, meaning where other people can't get a connection, your life and your ability to connect with God creates a, a mobile presence of God mm -hmm. that literally when people get close to you, they can get a connection to God. And that's why right now, if you're experiencing so much mm -hmm. attack in your life and you're blaming yourself for the things that you've done, it's really because God has chosen you to be a place that others can connect to and get a signal. You ever have somebody say, hey, can I borrow your phone? I can't get a signal. I need to make a call. There are people that God's bringing into your life and wants to bring into your life that when they get near you, they can get a piece of God. They can touch and be a part of his presence. So I want to encourage you today that, that you, you being in that spot of being that hot spot, you got to release a lot of the weight. One thing I had to do on my phone was I had to close out all of my apps. I had to close out of Facebook and Instagram and everything like that to be able to strengthen that signal. And sometimes when God is like really speaking to you in a season of your life, you got to shut things off. Okay, it's time to put things down. It's time to get away, get alone with God, because there is an attack against the presence of God. And one thing that was shared just this morning is worship scatters the enemy. He doesn't want us to get into worship because worship provides clarity into our minds. It, 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 it basically releases the emotion that builds up in our lives from worrying about bills and worrying about kids and spouse things. And if you're going through a divorce or been through a divorce, X things. There's so much that we carry that just builds into our soul. And so worship just relieves that valve and it puts God back on the throne. It puts him back in priority. When he says, seek ye first the kingdom of his righteousness, Righteousness and all of these other things will be added. He's basically giving you kingdom codes. I think we think a little bit too deeply about what God says in his word, but literally God says, this is my word. Say it how it is said and it will be so. Don't overthink it. It's not an emotional thing. It's not, Lord, I feel close to you. No, it's speak my word and the door will open. And that's what we need. We need access to God's presence. And that comes through reading the word of God out loud, not just in your mind. You don't want to have a you don't want to have a quiet prayer moment in your mind. You don't want to be reading scripture in your mind. Read scripture out loud. Yeah. Read it out loud. It causes the enemy to yeah. hiss away. Ooh. He literally doesn't like the sound of the word because the word has so much power. Literally, go in your Bible and go to Psalms 27. Say, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Come of on. whom shall I be afraid? When the enemy, even my wicked, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Say that out loud and it will cleanse the atmosphere. Just like when humidity comes and it's hot and then a storm falls. The word of God creates a storm that brings breaks the humidity within our emotions, the humidity within our spirit that causes the ickiness and, and I just don't feel right. Worship, even if you have to put it on in your house and let it play all day. Yeah, jazz is nice and all these other secular things and you might entertain some things, but put some worship on, some soaking music on, go on YouTube. They got like 10 hour soaking yeah. tracks yeah. that you could just play and just let God really worship and, and, and be in the house. Sid, listen, you're, what's going on right now with that conference? I want to hear about that. Well, before I get there, I just <laughs> want to like pick, like just what you just dropped, like just thank you so much, Corey, for what you just deposited in people because that was just so uplifting. And as you were speaking, I just heard God say, it is time for you to get near to his embers. When is the last time that you've been near the fire of the Lord? You know, our God is a consuming fire. And so a lot of times when you were talking about those hot spots is sometimes when you're in a dead spot, it's because you haven't been near the fire. You haven't 
haven't cultivated that space or carved out that time to be next to the fire of God, to burn up those things, to bring those things down. There was a season in my life where I literally felt so dead, I felt so hopeless, but I had to crawl my way to the presence of the Lord. Do not dismiss the presence of the Lord. There's something when you get into his presence, when you get into that place, when you lay there, when he, Corey was just saying about listening to music, like I have played soaking music, I have played worship music, but in this season, you know, the enemy, he tries to wear it down the saints. It talks about that in Daniel. And in this season, there's been such a wearing down, but like you have to say, you have to declare the word over your life. You have to speak it. You have to say it out loud. And I'm telling you, when you just have this position and this posture, whether it's on your knees or when you're praying and you won't relent because God, you gave me a promise. God, you spoke these things over me. I am telling you, I have seen it in my life in this season. I am seeing the promises of God. I am seeing things manifest like never before. I had to contend. I had to warfare. I had to praise the Lord. Praise is the greatest weapon that we have in the kingdom of God. And we want to encourage you today, even right now in your living room, if you have to get up and praise, this is a participatory show. It's a different show where we want the Holy Spirit to invade that place, to destroy the depression, to destroy the darkness, to destroy those thoughts of suicide, to destroy those repetitive thoughts that are holding you in those patterns. We want you to be broken free from that. And we're telling you, when you get into that hot spot, when you get into the ember, when you get into the fire of the Lord, he will begin to reveal things that are in you. He will begin to remove the roots and remove the things that have been holding you back so you can move in the fullness of where you are called to be. This is a season where we have to examine our hearts, where we have to lay prostrate before the Lord and say, God, search me. Search my heart, know my anxiety. Allow the Holy Spirit to get into those places so that you can see the way and the light to him. Wow, the presence of God is here. God is speaking. Listen, here is more with Ben and Kelly Smith as they continue to lead us in worship. Cause you are not forgotten. You are seen. So glad you're taking this time to just enter into the presence of the Lord. It was just yesterday I heard that numbers are at their peak for those who are battling fear and anxiety, and that's for Christians and non-Christians. So I know many of you who are watching are carrying that burden of fear and anxiety. And we know that the Lord says over and over, do not fear. And so how do we, how do we take that command, that gentle instruction of the Lord and get into the peace of God? I was sitting with Psalm 91, which is a Psalm that I 
clung to in the months and the, the years following my life, like the bottom of my life falling out from underneath of me. And life felt so chaotic and nothing made sense and things were swirling all around. And this one verse in Psalm 91, it comes from verse four and it says, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. That part that he will cover us with his feathers. I remember just sliding under the covers of my bed and pulling those blankets up over my head and just imagining that they were the wings of God covering over me. And even though outside things were swirling all around, it was when I got into his presence that rest was able to come to me, that I was able to sleep and to experience the peace of God. It is only in him that there is peace. It is only in Jesus that there is hope, that there is life on the other side of chaos, and that he will restore double for your trouble. So today, whatever you are dealing with, again, we say get into his presence. Put him back on the throne instead of your problems, instead of your sickness, instead of your fear and your anxiety, whatever is going on with your children or your marriage or your family or your job or your finances. Put God God on the throne, not on what is going on around you. And this is the moment that we just want to speak into the heart of someone who maybe just happened on to this program today. Know that it's no accident that you are here. Maybe you don't know this Jesus, this Jesus that we talk about, who is our living hope. This Jesus who restores us, who gives us this supernatural peace you're like, oh, I've been trying a lot of other things to find peace, to hold on to control of the things that feel so out of control. Today is your day when Jesus has brought you to this place at this time. And he says, child, you are mine. Come to me. Stop running away from me and trying all these other things. You are mine. You are safe in me. Your life is hidden in me. Friend, he's calling you to make him your Lord and Savior. There is nothing in your past that will keep you from the saving grace of Jesus Christ, the one who left the glory of heaven to take on your sin, to take on your shame, and he hung on the cross, and then he took all of that to the grave and that it was just Jesus, our Lord and Savior, who rose from the grave victorious and left all of that sin, all of that shame, all of that in the grave so that you could be victorious, so that you could live. But there's only one way to that life, and that is through Jesus. So if you want to receive Jesus as your Lord, just come to him right where you are with your own words, with your own personality, because He wants you to come just as you are and say, Lord Jesus, I need you to save me. Forgive me of my sins. Come in and cleanse me and make me new. Today is the day that I choose to follow after you and to let you be the leader of my life. And if you just prayed that prayer, know that we want to celebrate with you. We're here to pray with you and hear your story. Our number is 888-665-4483. If you're watching in the middle of the night, we are here for you. You can call us anytime. Wow. 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 I mean, the presence of God is just really strong here. And God is just really, really moving. Thank you. Thank you, Anna, just for sharing that. If you really said that prayer, you really let that enter into your heart. God is going to start the work, the process. And and this is something that that I just want to share with you as well, is that don't allow, the Bible says, don't despise the day of small beginnings. 
I think we compare a lot in this generation and we say, you know, I'm not as close to God as other people. Let me tell you something. God is not a respecter of persons. He will bring his fire on you and consume you. You, would, you have no idea. The more open your heart is, the more humble you are, God will really begin to speak to you. And I was just sharing something when, when um, uh, Sydney was talking about uh, embers earlier today. I was sharing something about, I was sitting on a fire pit one time and uh, I had some wet wood that was out in the rain. And so I had some dry wood, I put it in the middle and I lit the fire. And so I put that wet wood on the outskirts of the fire pit. And as the dry wood began to catch on fire, the wet wood began to scream. And I said, what is that noise? It was the sound of the water inside of it screaming out of it. And let me tell you something. God said this to me in that moment. He said, you don't have to be in ministry. You don't have to be like, oh, I know God this much. He said, just get near my fire. Just get near my fire. Just get near my presence. And what will begin to happen is that, is that every dark thing inside of you will not be able to dwell. It will come screaming out of you. You might say, I'm in this addiction. I'm in this habit. I'm in this relationship. I, I'm so far from God. God said, get near my presence. Get near my presence. Get, just get close to me. And all of a sudden, you will feel in your spirit wanting to be so close to God that everything that's not like God will begin to come out of your life. God's going to do some new things. And I just want to pitch this over to Sydney. Sydney, I just feel, I feel the fire on yeah, you right yeah. now. Share what God has on your heart. Well, we're just like so excited that you have joined us for this very special program. We just want to like let you know, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, one of our great ministry friends, Covenant Church of Pittsburgh, they're having the Presence Conference that is happening. And if you want more information, you can go to our website at ctvn.org to find information about it. They have a phenomenal lineup of just speakers and worship. I was there last night and what an amazing time just to be with the Ecclesia just to be with the body of Christ, to get filled up, to be in his presence, because sometimes we just need to be around our brothers and sisters in Christ. We cannot forsake the assembly of one another. Well, thank you so much for joining us for Hope Today. And right now we are going to close out the show with a time again of song with Ben and Kelly Smith. Thank you so much for joining us. And we just pray that you would continue to seek the Lord with all your heart. Have a good one. My understanding, love that conquers my fear and regret, joy unending, eternal pleasure in your presence, my risen King. Seek first your kingdom. I will seek first your righteousness. Everything I need, you will provide. And everything I need
On tomorrow's Hope Today, offering a fresh perspective on increasing intimacy with God, enhancing relationships, and discovering contentment. Author and speaker Wei Wei Chang offers several keys to help you reconnect with God and live a life free of fear and judgment. Don't miss tomorrow's Hope Today. television t-shirt where'd you get it I am so glad that you asked you know this is an exclusive offer for the month of June for you to receive this one-of-a-kind CTVN t-shirt you can support and sport your favorite Christian television network this summer when you go to barbecues hanging out with family and having tons of fun oh man that is so much fun and speaking of Cornerstone television I love their programming especially that hope today show yes we love hope today and all of the programs and you know with your best gift request your Cornerstone television network t-shirt when you give this month. We have sizes from extra small to 6XL. It is 100% cotton. It is quality and we want you to have this on you today. That's right. We have one for everyone and you get to represent the station you love with your own logo t-shirt. You'll enjoy this wearable reminder that hope happens here as together we spread the love of Jesus every day. You know, we cannot do it without you. When you give, you help us to impact Pittsburgh and beyond, reaching those of all nations and generations because we know people need to know the hope and the love of Jesus like never before. So why don't you give us a call at 888-665-4483 and request your very own Cornerstone TV t-shirt. That's right. You can also give online at ctvn.org slash donate. We would love to see you out in public somewhere wearing this t-shirt. Maybe we'll have ours on too. Thanks for supporting us. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.